Economic semantics, what exactly we mean, if anyone can tell. What is called as dynamic semantics when we say it? Python is dynamic semantics. Right? When you see, like in the things of the Python, when we are going with a very basic example, right? When we are going with variables assigning. Okay. All right. So there you can give a lot of variables at a time, right? You can define a lot of variables. Today we will be doing it, right? So we'll be seeing it today. Okay. That is dynamic exactly. Okay. Next, there are a lot of features of Python. I'm not going to discuss all those things for now, right? Because you know the basics of this definitions and all, okay? So directly going to the features here of the Python. So what we have is simplicity. The code's very simple, right? Then the floss, or you can say the open source, free lab open source softwares, and then portability, converting codes from Python to CSV, um, the XML, JSON, the HTML formats and all, okay? I like those things. And then embedding and uh, the extensions of like you can uh, write the snippets of code of Python, right, in some embedded forms. And then interpretations and all, okay. And then the libraries, what we'll be learning throughout the days, okay. The rest 18 days, we'll be going with those libraries. Oh, sorry, 17. Uh, let me accept some minus here. Okay, now where it is being used and how, let's see, right, the, in the Google when you search anything on the web, okay, so in the very next, uh, just below the search bar, you find something that this much results found within this much seconds, many seconds, right, so that is preferred or that is performed using the keywords for the better search results, like if you're searching for Python term, so what happens? Um, the website, all the website which is having the term or the keyword even, or for once even the word is used in the Python there. And if the website has a lot of visits, visitors, so it will be preferred and it will be coming in such preference of the list of the websites you will be uh, given after you search, right? So uh, the obviously like if you search for Python, the very first website python.org will be coming in the very first, right? And then like different companies, maybe different companies website would come like, mm, let's say, Edu Fabrica even, right? So uh, many different companies like those who are giving you the certifications of those things, like right? having the keywords as a Python and much more things would be given as preference, right? So that is done using Python actually. So the Google uses this, then the Dropbox server client applications, okay? In machine learning, we'll be learning like in Netflix, there is a concept called as machine learning. Uh, sorry, uh, the clustering, right? In machine learning, it is a concept, okay? And clustering basically means you to like to group up the elements, okay? So, like, let's say in a class of 20, uh, sorry, 60 students, if we say that when we make a group of uh, 10 students, right? So, basically, what we are doing is we are making a cluster of 10 students, right? So, six group will be formed, six clusters will be there. So six clusters would be there, right? So what will be there? 60 students, six clusters. Now six clusters will be there on the basis of the same thing. Like if we say some uh, 10 students like to play cricket, some 10 like to play football, uh, some have interest on badminton, some have interest on basketball. So on basis of their interest, what we'll be doing, we'll be clustering it things. Like same goes in the Netflix, in the Amazon, in any of the web services you go, right? So based on your choices, they make groups, okay? And they again serve you the same contents, right? With the same choices or with your choices, right? If you have something, if you like horror movies, they will be giving you all the horror movies related to your like genres and all, okay? That is being a concept. Now in the NSA, it is used by the cybersecurity analysis, right? With the NSAs, the encryption, decryption workings, Codings and all it is done in the BitTorrent when you download something the files what is being downloaded in the peers to peer will get in the Python files the combined file give you a destinated file what you exactly download and then using the libraries of SciPy, SymPy and NumPy there can be 
done as a scientific scientific calculations what is used by the nasas okay so there is a learning path basically what we'll be going through with the python basics is first of all we'll be going with the variables and the data types operators then we'll be looking on to the arrays and the flow controls and method file handling and object oriented programming and there are career opportunities in the python what exactly are these i'm not going to discuss all these things right so what exactly these are just a minute uh, okay fine so we have all these opportunities of like ai data science or you say it as iot big data smart services web testing okay you can work in any of the sectors now for working you must have any experience you should have any experience over there right so just a minute to what there So experience is again like uh, you'll be paid as per the experience you're having, right? So if we say that um, you have an experience of one year or one to four year, let's say, right? So you'll be you will be paid around an average salary of five eighty eight k, five hundred k. Let's talk about five hundred again, okay? That's a very average salary for Python developer. Now if we go ahead with like uh, five to ten years of experience, then your salary increases exactly, right? So experience matters a lot. right and that is being given in the graph okay now if we talk about like experience is okay now the place you are working also defines a lot thing for your salaries for your pays for your perks and all right so in india if we talk about the best place is like pune you can go with the noida gurgaon these places are these places have the best paid salaries for the python developers or for any ai engineer for ml analyst right so ml engineer data analyst and all okay these places are best now according to the places like what extra you know right or the skill set we talk about what exactly the things extra you know right so, so there are some top 10 skills what you can find aws django apis docker linux and all okay So if you are good at machine learning, if you are good at C C, that is cloud computing, and if you get a D Django even or A W S, it's fine to get a job very easily, right? So in the field of Python things, just a minute. Hmm. Okay. So these are the things, right? so i hope that everyone would be having anaconda or everyone would be having pycharm or anything right you'll be doing in the collab or in the kaggle so we are going to start the course today okay and the assignment person someone has asked the, the group after the class please tell us how to practice daily assignment for placements point of view please for guys okay all right All right, let's start it. So, it has ai ml data science okay I'm keeping it in
Okay. So I hope the basics of the Python is clear to everyone. If it is not, we'll be doing in the two days. And the assignments as regular, you'll be getting it. Okay. So the very first thing comes as a keywords. Can anyone tell me what exactly is keyword? Or what are keywords? What is a keyword? 